I believe that Arcus is the most dynamic gene editing tool. It allows us to tackle so many different types of diseases. From our current pipeline, we have HPV, a viral disease, where we are eliminating the viral DNA, 3243, a mitochondrial disease, where we traffic Arcus to the mitochondria and eliminate mutant mitochondrial DNA, OTC, an insertion program, where we are able to insert a curative gene into the genome of the liver, Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, a neuromuscular disease where we are excising a huge portion of the disease causing uh, part of the gene. All these diseases require a specific type of edit that only Arcus can do. No add-on proteins, just Arcus. Further, Arcus fits within any delivery system, LMP or AV, so we can treat where the disease actually occurs. I think the, the coolest thing about Arcus um, is that it provides Precision a really unique opportunity to show the public that there's more to gene editing than just CRISPR. Um, if you talk to anybody, especially someone who doesn't work in a field related to science, uh, if they know anything about gene editing, it's probably CRISPR. Precision has a, a perfect opportunity to prove to people that that's not the only platform out there and, and our platform has the potential to reach patient populations. You know, gene editing platforms couldn't hit previously um, and we can do so very efficiently and very safely. I deliver Arcus to animal models, mice, rats, and HPs, and I can physically see the physicalities or the clinical observations or the symptoms and signs while the mouse is still alive of the effect of Arcus and how it's working. When we get to the end results and we're on our necropsy, when you open up the mouse cavity, you can see, oh my gosh, the muscles look different from the treatment group and the control group. And it just brings me an abundance of joy because you can see that Arcus is working firsthand and it gives you hope that us as Precision and our logo to improve we're dedicated to improving lives that it's working, so it gives you hope for the future. The coolest part about Arcus, um, in my opinion, is the specificity of Arcus. It's, um, it's a nuclease that cuts a DNA and it makes a double-stranded break in a 22 base pair recognition sequence, but we can dial up the activity of that nuclease for it to be extremely specific. So having been here almost 12 years, I've seen our, our technology mature. We used to say that once we got to the FDA and got something approved, that no other DNA technology would be able to, to compete because they couldn't get the same specificity that we do. Also, one of the most exciting things about Arcus is that I get to work with it. Um, we're, gonna be, we're gonna be treating people here soon and we're gonna do amazing things for society and for the medical field. There's no DNA technology any better. What I think is the coolest part about Arcus is its versatility. So as a member of the Emerging Technologies team, our job is to really figure out what is the next greatest and coolest thing that Arcus can do. So we've really been at the forefront of the research of figuring out really what Arcus can do beyond kind of what we've already been talking about as the company. And what I think is really awesome about that is we can find that because of the unique enzymology of Arcus and the three prime overhang that it leaves leading to efficient HDR, we can do all sorts of things. We can do all sorts of insertions and changes because it's such a good HDR catalyzing enzyme. And because Arcus can enable such efficient HDR, we can just copy and paste things from a template and enable any type of change that we want. So what that leads us is that Arcus can do everything that CRISPR, base editors, and prime editors can do, and we can do it in a single technology. We can do small and large insertions, we can do small and large deletions, and I think that is really what's gonna change the world.